Hi, I'm George Shaw. I'm a composer for film, TV, trailers, and kind of everything. Mostly known for my work on Escape the Night, a YouTube premium show. So as a composer, I love genre stories. Um, and what I love about them is the opportunity to create a world with the music. Um, and particularly, I, I love writing melodies. So my dream is to one day create an iconic melody for an iconic franchise. You know, something along the lines of Star Wars or Harry Potter, Back to the Future, you know, those kind of things that I grew up with. And uh, I just love how melody can just instantly conjure up an image or a character or a place, you know. Um, so yeah, I mean, my dream projects would be sci-fi fantasy, um, you know, superhero movies. Uh, I love animation as well. But you know, in addition to that, I love stories that are coming from diverse voices these days, um, particularly with Asian American artists who are finally creating stories about people like me. So that is really exciting to see, and I would love to support any filmmakers creating you know, Asian or Asian American stories. So what kind of drew me into the world of YouTube was I met the Wong Fu production guys at a film festival, and this was maybe 2006 or seven, and I had seen a video of theirs that had gone viral, and this is viral before streaming video, so it was like, I had to download the video to watch it. Um, but it was just a video they made in college that struck me because it was about an Asian American guide. It was like the first time I related to a character on a personal level, because it felt like, oh, that could have been me. And so I kind of ran into them, gave them a CD. This is back, you know, <laughs> years ago when we still handed out CDs um, and just said, hey, I love your work. If, you know, if there's anything I can do to help you guys out, please let me know. And they called and said, hey, we've got this web series that we're working on. And uh, I got involved with that. They brought me on to Ryan Higa's um, Agents of Secret Stuff, which is a short film that has over 30 million views on YouTube. And they were collaborating with Ryan Higa on that. So that kind of introduced me to this world of everyone else on YouTube and it just kind of took off from there. Uh, so this is the track I created for the Beast uh, book trailer. Um, so I'll just play it for you first. So it was great. I used a lot of the Requiem Choir on this uh, this cue. I mean, it, there's choir everywhere. You know, it's just sort of epic all the way through. Um, so actually, I want to point out what I did at the end because this was like my favorite part. Um, and I'll just solo the choir for you to hear. So the lyrics there are "Creatus Demonus." So demonic creature or something like that. Kind of Latin-esque, even though it's completely made up. Um, and the demonos part was actually like, actually comes from the library. It's like a pre-recorded thing. Um, but I wanted to add something to that. So um, it was pretty cool to kind of be able to, you know, create using, create a word out of just syllables. So that's where I came up with creatus.
So it's those three syllables. Dimanus, Dimanus. So yeah, it's just hitting like a chord and it just time locked to the tempo and everything. It's fantastic. Uh, so here's the actual. Dimanus. This one, I, I actually really like the, um, the attack of the Requiem on uh, staccatos. Sometimes I'll even record myself singing. And, and that kind of helps to have like a live voice to kind of glue it together a little bit. Um, so you know, the trick is really just good reverb. I probably could have compressed it a little bit. I don't know if I had any plugins on that, I guess not. But you know, just going for a, a really big sound. Um, but yeah, it was really great just working with the syllables and, and getting to customize that, which is it's sort of the difficult thing about working with with choirs uh, when you don't have a real choir. So, uh, what you can do with with uh, the Requiem choir is pretty amazing. When, when I was starting out and had no budget, my sample libraries were not very good, and I didn't really have that many. Um, my focus was on you know write for a way you could write that sounds good. So if that meant writing for a solo piano um, and playing the piano myself and I also play clarinet so I would do a lot of piano and clarinet pieces um, or just you know using whatever little sounds in your library that sound good I mean that's really it's it's better to write interesting small intimate kind of music than to try to write big orchestral stuff if your samples don't sound that great so I've actually done a lot of projects where I'm mixing small you know live ensembles of musicians with uh, samples and, and electronic sounds and kind of the trick to that is really learning to orchestrate. Um, when, you know, when you're orchestrating for a big orchestra it's very different from a smaller orchestra so to get a bigger sound from a smaller note of, of instruments uh, the key is to use more doubling and more unison writing rather than trying to be complex um, and then also just knowing how to fill it out with samples so you know uh, what I found is that the higher the instrument, the harder it is to fake it. So I tend to like use synths and samples for my lower instruments, my lower sounds, and then filling in the live instruments with higher sounds. So your violins, your flutes, your clarinets, trumpets, horns, that kind of thing. So, I mean, it's, it's taken a lot of years of trying this stuff out, but finding like how to get the most um, how to maximize your sound out of live instruments and, and really learning how to mix that with samples. Okay, so this is a scene from the last episode of season four of Escape the Night. And uh, we have this cool Gorgon lady, uh, or she's about to turn into a Gorgon. So here's the music from that scene. There's nothing to be afraid of. Can't you hear call your name? Come to destroy it. Something so beautiful. Imagine what secrets it holds. What power. It transforms people into their true nature. Think of what you could become. <laughs> Looks like there's a trace of evil inside you. <laughs> It was just I wanted something creepy and eerie, and it just seemed like choir was the thing to, to do it for this scene. So I was able to use the, the ooze for this one section. I, think I actually recorded myself singing and then pitched it up an octave to sound like a, a, a soprano. Um, but here's just the Requiem Choir by itself. Use that demonos thing at the, 
uh, just like the last one. Um, but you know, when you actually look at the MIDI data, you can really see like, you know, really trying to give expressiveness to this line. Okay, like. Um, so you, you really see in the MIDI data down here that, and I think I probably used a, a wind controller to, to get that level of, you know, sort of natural expressiveness um, and a little bit of the volume. Uh, really just kind of getting those, those hairpins, crescendo and decrescendo. This was my favorite part because I, I needed something epic and I wanted there to be some kind of lyrics and just Requiem did it for me. Just all this. So, you know, I didn't even have to come up with stuff. Uh, this is just Demonus Apocalypse. These are just time-locked, pre-recorded stuff that just worked really great for this scene. So, you know, when you bring up the picture, it's just... So, you know, there's, I don't have the visual effects here in the scene, but she's opening this magic box and this dark magic wrapped around her. It's just the evil coming out of the box. And we wanted the choir to sort of represent that evil. So it was really great to have, uh, have actual lyrics there. So it worked out great. Thanks for visiting me in my studio and checking out how I've worked with sound iron libraries. I love the choir stuff. It's totally epic. Um, and if you want to hear more of my music or check out what I have coming up, find me at georgeshawmusic.com or at georgeshawmusic on social media.